Now, thunderous explosions are echoing through the Comox Valley right now, and they will be for the next two weeks. Explosives experts from across the country have converged on CFB Comox for a special training session. It's called Exercise Taz Runner, and it's the first of its kind in Canada. The bomb dismantlers are gathering to exchange ideas and the tricks of the trade. And as CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us, the terror fighting drills come off with plenty of big bangs. Two, one. They've been spending their workday blowing things up. Explosives experts from across Canada have converged at 19 Wing Comox. They're holding it here in Comox for the next two weeks uh, as a means for our personnel to share trade secrets, uh, learn from each other, as well as to maintain and improve their skills. The scenario began with a remotely controlled robot making its way towards its target. It was a suspicious oil stain package believed to contain explosives. It was just one of many training scenarios being used here. Every situation is unique. Uh, that's why exercises like this are important uh, because obviously they need to make sure that they are keeping their skills up to date. The training session is called Exercise Taz Runner and it marks the first time such a large scale event has ever been held in Canada. We have all the teams that work uh, disposing explosives across the country come to Comox and enjoy our beautiful weather and gain some training and some knowledge on, the, on their trade. Aside from this demonstration, due to security concerns, we're not able to show you many of their techniques, nor even the faces of those involved here. That's because these team members are frequently under threats from terrorists, as well as their devices. There's a lot of sick people out there that can make a lot of uh, very simple bombs to kill or maim people very, very easily. The job of these guys is, is to try to get in the mind of the terrorist. And as you guys can understand, that's a very unconventional way of thinking. They had to really think outside the box and try to come up with a safe approach of dismantling this device that a person has set up to try and kill them. But it's not only the experienced terrorists that are creating those devices. These team members have growing concerns that anyone can build explosives by getting information online. The internet's an absolutely amazing thing. However, it's also uh, allowed people to <clears throat> create a lot of devices through access to uh, information that's out there quite readily. Taz Runner is being held in Comox because it provides a safe and secure setting for these exercises. And although the public won't see any of the action, they will likely hear what's going on. Obviously people are going to be hearing uh, some explosions or uh, the occasional popping noise um, as these teams train and we just want to make sure that people know there's nothing to be uh, alarmed if people hear these kinds of explosions uh, throughout the community. Those big bangs will wrap up in the valley on March 1st. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, 19 Wing Comox.